back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. You got the Delta Force 29 build, twin motor mono, part five, on the block, okay? Uh, today, we're going to be just walking you guys through the boat. It's done. I hadn't uploaded a video in like a week. I had some electronics issues, uh, reason I hadn't posted my videos. Uh, I'll explain to you in a few. Um, just bad luck, I guess. But um, the Johnson 5, the Seahorse is done. I'm going to walk you guys through it inside and out, detailed detailed walkthrough because I wasn't able to film so stick around you guys big B what I clad RC okay okay so it actually turned out pretty good you guys I, I'm really happy with the boat and um you, you know I hadn't I hadn't posted a video in like a week uh so what happened this is what happened and I'll get into this okay um I, I film all my videos with my phone all of them you know, and I, I usually do all my editing with my phone. It's easy. I have my phone with me. I can edit on the go. It's just easy for me. So the other night I was cooking in the kitchen and a jar of coffee fell off the shelf on my phone and busted the screen. Okay, no big deal. I took it in the next day to get the screen fixed. They did the, the you know, the inspection and, and basically they couldn't fix my phone it failed inspection because one of the antennas was uh was messed up and it didn't pass so um i had to actually the next day I had to close out the the repair and file an insurance claim on my phone uh usually it only takes one day to get my insurance but it's sure in uh it took two days so that set me back so the reason you guys hadn't i hadn't been answering any comments is you know i have my laptop my laptop, the same night my screen on my phone broke, my laptop just quit working, you know, just quit working. It, it's an older laptop, but it just out of the blue quit working. So that's in the repair shop. <laughs> Hadn't heard from it, but I got my phone and we're back in business. Okay, so um, so uh, as you can see, I put the outboard motor decals on my boat. Okay, uh, it, it didn't really come out the way I wanted it to. I still need to paint the windshield, but... Um, it actually turned out okay. I, I like it. Johnson 5 or Seahorse 5. <laughs> okay, so I guess, uh, I guess I'll start in the boat. Last video you guys seen, I made the electronics mounts. Okay, the battery tray, the motor mount, and the, the servo mount, which actually came out really good because it's like an odd servo mount. You guys see how, how it's shaped. It's like angled. It has one 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 place on the bottom here one place on the other side where it's epoxied into the boat and it's actually really solid it's solid it, it don't move at all okay so uh, i installed all this the electronics the servo and the battery tray i used two different separate applications of epoxy okay first application was thickened epoxy i thickened it with chopped up fiberglass okay that was the initial glue up of the tray the mount and the servant mount uh the second application I, I sanded it and i went carbon fiber it and epoxy okay while i had the wet epoxy and carbon fiber mix on the boat i actually took chopped up carbon fiber and dabbed on top of the wet epoxy okay so i had ch chopped up carbon fiber in the epoxy and then i dabbed dry chopped up carbon fiber on top okay so it should be it should be in there okay um so like i said two applications on all of it all right uh, we're running two ose 90s okay i uh, did have 3.5 bullets on these this motor esc combo my drag boat this is what this electronics come out of my, my drag boat i actually upgraded the connectors to a six millimeter okay on both sides and ec5s okay uh running the through hole water pickups we did that in part three i think or four i'm not sure through hole water pickups and hopefully they pick up water i hadn't even run the boat yet it's, it's raining i was planning on running it today but it's raining so i wasn't able to um so we got the through hole water pickups both of them are going to the esc out the esc into the motor out the motor and out the boat i got my exits right here one there and one on the other side identical okay um i'm able i'll be able to put 2968s in this boat 
or 36 millimeter motor in this boat. I made the mount big enough so I can house, you know, larger motors later on if I want to. The boat's actually pretty light. We'll get a weight on it before we go. Uh, for batteries, um, I'm probably going to run, you know, it actually did pretty good in my drag boat running a single battery, a single battery for both sides. Okay, you hook up each ESC parallel and run a single. I also can run dual batteries. Okay, but when you put four, two 4S batteries in a boat, that's like running a boat on 8S. That's heavy. Okay, um, planning on getting new batteries, like a 3200 milliamp, 4000 milliamp, if I'm going to run two 4S batteries in the boat to keep weight down. But um, I've decided to actually run the 7600 HCL HP SMC batteries, the 150C 4S bag, battery, a single battery to both ESCs. Okay, I think the milliamp and the high C rating will support this boat. And we should get a fairly decent run time with these packs, running single pack to both the ESCs. Okay, so that's my plan. I'm going to run these singly. I'll run these just for a couple runs, but I'm planning on getting some 3200 milliamp 4000 4S packs. We'll also run it on 3S. Okay, uh, running 4 millimeter flex cables. All right, with an OSC coupler. Um, probably going to change these out. Okay, I didn't have the money to do it whenever I ordered the boat and had the whole my initial build plan. I didn't have the money to get the collets, so we'll probably change it out to a collet here shortly. And I actually need to order a new cable. Of course, when I go to cut my cable down, I had to cut maybe five millimeters off of it. Of course, the right hand cable unwound on me. I have plenty of left hand cable laying around. You know, four millimeter. I have plenty of them. The right hand cable unwound on me. So, oh uh, God, it sucks, man. That sucks. So, um, so... I actually took it out to my welder, my stick welder, and I actually built up, I built up all that, all that with a stick welder. I grounded it, pro tried to profile it, put it in the boat, of course, of course, it, it's not balanced. I, it was worth a shot. I tried. At least I know how to do that now. It was a pain in the butt. So, our first run, we're actually going to run left-hand lay, same direction propellers, Okay initially until i get my four millimeter cable in okay um so i'm actually i was actually planning on doing that anyway running left hand lay props sonic weight v1 and v2 props i'm actually balancing thinning this one out to catch it up with this one so um when i get the four millimeter cable in we have a 42 14 a 38 14 and a 42 high rake that will be able to run on the boat okay so that's kind of a bummer, but um, it'll be actually interesting to see what it does with the same direction props. Okay, so I'm running a Speedmaster turn fin with a generic turn fin bracket. Okay, I, I also have these uh, Mad Lizard replacement turn fins I could put on here. But we're going to try it out with the Speedmaster turn fin. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, uh, with the rudder, I actually had to do quite a bit of modifications to get this rudder extended, get it to work on the boat. Um... This block right here, I actually made two of them. This was my first, like, attempt. And uh, I was going to make, you know, just an extension block so I can run it with the stock rudder bracket. Okay, and just, it would kind of mount right up to the bracket right there. I actually countersunk the two mounting screws. And then I tapped four holes, four mounting screws to mount it onto the boat with, like that. Okay. So, um, you know, that would have worked, but I decided to go this route. Okay, this piece right here is actually hollow. I drilled it out with a 10 millimeter bit. It's hollow in the middle. It weighs 25 grams, uh, 6061 aluminum. Okay, I tapped four, four screw holes right here to mount my rudder up. This is a 10 shock rudder. Okay, and I have four tapped, I tapped four, four millimeter mounting screws backed it with carbon fiber back there okay it looks pretty good turned out pretty good all right uh, using a captured ball link right here with a threaded two millimeter i think that's two millimeter stainless steel steering rods with a 5 30 seconds brass tube epoxied into the hull with a silicone tube for waterproofing okay pretty simple pretty simple uh running a ds servo all right, DS servo. Um, I actually had to put a couple washers under my my 
my easy connectors here to line it up with the through hole right there but it actually worked out perfect okay that mount that i made for the servo is real low profile you know really low profile so i can fit it in the boat have room for the water pickups and all that so with my stingers here these are uh low profile 80 millimeter stingers dr jet had sent four millimeter board for a four millimeter flex cable so um they're running i'm running them actually 50 50 millimeters apart like i had planned okay 50 millimeters that way i can run a 45 millimeter prop on each side and have a few millimeter to spare okay um i actually ended up filing some off the top of this elongated hole on the barrel so i can get my stingers drop down low so i can get some angle on it you know we'll have to play around with that because i'm not going to run uh trim tabs on the boat initially we'll uh we'll actually get several runs in without trim tabs and then i'll probably end up installing trim tabs on the boat these guys right here okay but for right now i'm just gonna use my stingers and weight distribution to basically tune the boat okay uh we'll also throw these guys here on these mad lizard turn fins and kind of change it up try two different kinds uh the cool thing about these right here they're speed master like i said they have um ain't uh leading edge angles cut on, on both sides of the turn fin okay so that might be pretty interesting okay so i got a battery in we're going to just kind of do some some bench testing uh my rudder i have my rudder travel at 100 it goes to 150 okay i have my throttle at 150 so rudder travel at 100 like i said it goes up to 150 Okay, I have plenty of room for the high rake props. The high rake prop will actually go like basically in line with the leading edge. Okay, plenty of room for leeway. Okay, uh, that was tough getting this set off the transom the right length, modifying and cutting this, this extension block. That was a lot of work. It was a lot of freaking work. And I really wish that... Uh, I would have had a way to film this, which I could have used my wife's phone, but you, you guys know how that is. Um, but it was, in a way, it was really freaking nice to be able to build the boat at my own pace and not have to worry about videos, angles, getting the right footage, uploading the videos, editing the videos. It was, it was really nice for me. You know, I know you guys missed out on a lot of stuff. And it kind of sucks for y'all. I, I apologize, but for me, it was it, it was kind of nice. I, you know, some I change. <laughs> a laid back build for me. Okay, so plenty of throw. We probably won't need that much. Probably just need about this much, to be honest with you, because we're gonna get the the you know the thrust from these propellers, and it's gonna ricochet off the rudder left and right. This rudder is real wide. It's a knife blade, so we're gonna get extremely good turns with this boat i'm I, I, well i hope <laughs> i hope center mounted rudder man it, it don't come out the water in the left don't come out the water in the right it's going to be good left and right turn so let's spool it up um let's put this 50 gram block of aluminum right here okay it's i mean i've done some drill it started off as 50 it's about probably about 40 right now so let's see if we can move it let's see if we can move this stuff <laughs> y'all ready Holy shit, boy. You know, I really want to run the boat with counter-rotating props, but like I said, it's going to be interesting to see what the boat does with the same direction. Because you could do that. With a monohull, you could do that. A lot of one-to-one -one boats run same direction propellers, you know? <laughs> yes, sir, buddy. That's on 4S, single 4S 5000. So let's get a weight real quick. I'll let you guys go. All right, um... I've already weighed it. It's, it's not too heavy. It, it's about the same weight as my drag boat. And the drag boat was only 24 inches. <laughs> so it's about 5 or 6 grams heavier than a drag boat with a battery in it. Okay, the drag boat was like 4 pounds. Oh, I think it was 412. So yeah, it's a little bit heavier. But this boat's 29 inches. The drag boat was 24. Okay, so let's take the battery out and get a weight just bare hull and then we'll do CG and I'll let you go okay bare hull 4.4 4 pounds 4 ounces with the hatch 
four pounds nine ounces with the hatch okay i really kept weight in mind when i built this boat hence you know the cut hand laid carbon fiber two millimeter uh 1.5 millimeter opposed to th two millimeter you know I, I cut weight anywhere and everywhere i could the servo mount i mean look at all the weight i saved with this thing man you know, no aluminum for a stand-up mount. Most of the stand-up mounts have a, a carbon fiber side with aluminum, you know, attaching the two rails. You know, there ain't no mount back there hardly. <laughs> man, man. I apologize I hadn't had a video out in a couple days, but it actually gave me some time to do some stuff around the house, get some stuff done on my boats. Uh, the next video for you guys, um, I'm going to run this tomorrow, but I won't have the video out till the following day. Next video for you guys will be this guy here. I actually changed out that stinger and put a Speedmaster bushing on it and um, kind of doing a comparison for you guys. Uh, long stinger versus short type deal. So uh, we'll have that video out for you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, yep. So uh, thanks for watching you guys. Hopefully you guys aren't too upset with me for not going over the full build. But I uh, figured I'd go over it kind of detailed for you guys. Thanks for watching.